Hello everyone, and welcome back to Melee Madness. Last time we got the broken up link, which you can actually see in the background just there. Um, yeah, it spawned in next to me when I loaded in. No idea why, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. But this time we're going to ignore that whole missing link thing, and instead you'll see in the top right we've got Minor Miracles up. And let's just turn the missing link off. And Minor Miracles, I've discovered a poster depicting something called the Excavator Power Armor. It appears to be manufactured at by the... Gabrahan Mining Company, I really struggle with that one. To learn more about this unusual armour, I should explore their headquarters. And that's what I figure we'll do for this episode, maybe next one, I'm not sure how long it will take me. I haven't done this since my original character, like, really early on. Hashtag nom nom, that is an interesting name. But yeah, I've also stocked up on ammo to sell. I've got drinks and meds and miscellaneous, I've got a lot of stuff I'm selling at my camp now. But yeah, we need to head all the way down to this little area here, and... Breach and clear's going on. It's tempting to just jump straight into... You know what, let's teleport straight to that event for 34 caps. Why not? Okay, what we need to do here is just clear the area of a bunch of nasty mole miners. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm trying to sneak in. I'm not sure... Yeah, I'm not sneaky enough. I'm nowhere near sneaky enough. So that was not the best move. Still, that's one dead mole miner. And there's only one other one there. Which is not going to be a problem, because we can just sprint up, go wacky whack, and oh, you're only level 14, you are dead as dead can be. Perfect. Yeah, we're now at the test site, and you can even see the vault over in the north there. You can't, you can see it on the compass at least. And yeah, we've cleared the area of hostiles. Area cleared. There we go. Initiating breach procedure. All um. workers, please evacuate to a safe distance immediately. Wait, where, where's the safe distance? I'm not sure where the breach is. I've kind of lost my bearing a bit here. Okay, safe distance, just here. This is a good safe distance from... In there? Over there? I don't know. I'm not sure which direction we're supposed to be facing. I'm sure... Oh, there we go. It's there. It is there. Perfect. And now we'll just have a whole bunch of stuff to loot. Because... Yep. Come on, open up, open up, open up. You hear the clicking there. Oh, and I don't have the Senior Executive ID key, which means I'm actually going to miss a bunch of rewards from this. But you'll see there's collection containers, and some of them have ore in them. Yeah, that's what you get from this. If you have, actually, the collection keys, it's much better. But, yeah, for the most part, you just get a bunch of ore from this. It's nothing too great, not the best event out there, but there's worse stuff you can do. Plus it's nice that you get rewarded if you happen to have picked up just like a random key at some point. It's just like, oh yeah, you've actually explored and picked up stuff, well done, have extra rewards from this quest. And there will be enemies coming to get us, but it won't be anything to worry about, just a handful of mole miners here and there, and these things will continue to open up as we just wait. Oh jeez, there's a... Mole rat landminder. What the hell is that doing here? Man, those things practically never show up. It showed up right at the end of the event. That was actually kind of scary. I just heard a ticking sound and I was like, I don't remember this event giving me that kind of noise. I guess it just means it's my last call for collection. And I turned around and saw that thing. And it's... Yeah, I don't have the priority keys, which means I'm actually missing out on a lot of ore and junk. Because, yeah, there's only about half of the containers you're actually able to loot. Everything else requires the key. So, until I've got that fancy key, this event actually doesn't help me that much. Other than a bit of, like, free XP and some ore, it does give you still some ore. But it's nothing too amazing. But I'm, I've also just, because it's a fairly slow and easy event, yep, excellent, a reward, perfect. I've also just been looting the place for anything that might come in handy, because there is plenty of stuff here which I could definitely use. Such as more junk, and yeah, a bunch of stuff I can scrap down. Cool. You know what, seeing as we're right next to it, let's just uncover the vault. There's no point to go in, because it's not open as of time of recording. But whilst we're right here, let's just jump on top of this little house. Uh, are you not going to... Trigger being opening unless I actually wander inside here. Really, game? Really? Do I, do I have to walk 
down this way as well. Yep, Vault 63, which we're now having to go into to get on the map, apparently. Yep, here it is, Vault 63. There's nothing we can do yet. Can't get inside. It's all locked up. Cool. That was fun. Quite infuriatingly, I seem to have timed this whole recording to go inside with um, somebody going along in a giant mower making a lot of noise outside. So I do apologise if you can hear that at all in the background. Um, it can't be helped, except by me murdering them, which apparently I'm not allowed to do. So, yeah, that's just the way it is, unfortunately. But let's go kill some Scorched, and man, it's, it's nice having these enemies. They just stab and they die. It's a good feeling. I, I'm <laughs> I'm going to be holding off going to the Maya, because I, I want to feel strong for just a little bit longer. Look, there's some wolves down there, and ah, oh, it's nice. It's nice. I very rarely go to the Ash Heap. It's one of those locations that once you've kind of been to it and done the quests, you've got no reason to generally go back. If you're looking specifically for ore, you need it, but people don't look for ore because ore kind of sucks. You just go for the standard junk. It's like, eh. Anyway, we're almost at the location, and then we'll have some stuff to do. Ooh, it looks like we got some fun little mole miners to be fighting out here. This is good. Plenty of them to stab, pinch all their stuff, and that'll scrap down for some good junk. And yeah, this guy here is going to try and shotgun me, but I can stab him in the face faster than he can shotgun me. Which I'm pretty happy about. Yeah, there's a little cultist dagger. Pretty good. And there's the excavation poster, which is the whole reason why we're here. And you need to be level 25 to do this, which the game will remind you constantly that you're not level 25. If you pick this up before level 25, there's a mines about. I didn't realise there was one on the bottom there. Like, I know there's some on the stairs. Didn't realise about the one on the bottom. Thought I was being smart. Turns out I wasn't. Here we are. Looks like we've got a whole bunch more mole miners to deal with. So, let's do that. I managed to completely miss my throwing knife and not suffer consequences from it. That one I landed. Oh, I'm now really over encumbered. Okay, let's just kill everything. Then try and find a bench where I can scrap things down. This is a lot of like steel and stuff I've got right here if I keep all of these weapons. So I don't really want to lose them. But at the same time, I can't afford to be constantly over encumbered. And we've got a legendary here. Nice. Who, oh, was it one of those fake legendaries? Who says legendary but isn't. Yeah, it was a fake legendary. It doesn't actually drop a legendary weapon or piece of armor. Because why would it? Why be that kind to me, game? Okay, there's someone else shooting at me, but I'm not quite sure where from. So if I just back myself into a corner, they'll have to come up. Okay, let's get that access keycard. Because keycards are good. And now, let's take some drugs. And there we go. He's coming up. Let's wait for him to get a little bit closer. And, and stab him up. Isn't that fun? I was listening to, like, part of the news yesterday. The localish news where we were talking about knife crime. Because that's the fun things that apparently happen. So me now going to stab it up feels slightly bad. But it's fine. Because video games let you stab things without the consequences. What's going on there? That was... That was... That was something. That was definitely something. Oh, here we go. Lots of enemies. Power armor station. This is what we're looking for. I'm still quite over encumbered. But it's not a problem. Now we've got a little crafting station. Plus... They oh! Jeez. That was a missile launcher. <laughs> that that probably would have killed me if I hadn't stepped just a little bit to the right. Because yeah, the splash damage isn't actually too terrible on missile launchers. But you get direct hit by one. And it's a real issue. Okay. Okay, we got anything else to deal with? Anything else want to pop through and try and kill me right now? We appear to be safe. Okay, I'm going to loot the place and not pick up that mini nuke because... How much are they? Yeah, six weight per mini nuke. Not taking that. Yeah, I'm just going to loot the place, scrap stuff down, and then we'll get started on actually learning this excavator armor. Because that'll be something that could be handy to have. 
Everything has been scrapped down, meaning I can now walk about quite nicely. And let's have a read of this terminal. So, excavator module blueprints. And downloaded to the external data device. Yeah, this is how you unlock the excavator armor, which is pretty damn cool. And there's a registration, blah de blah de blah, personal logs. Yeah, we don't care about that. Let's just see if we can actually build some excavator power armor. Now, I believe, yeah, in this room over here, there is a just blank empty power armor chassis. I don't have any fusion cores, do I? No, I've put them all for sale. Okay, we're just going to really slowly... Oh, it does the annoying beeping sound. I wish I could turn off that beeping sound. Because I back in Fallout 4, I wanted to do, like, a really slow tank build based around not needing fusion cores, but being in power armor and just being, like, unkillable and slowly walking towards your enemy. But that damn beeping sound means, nope, nobody's ever going to want to do that. So instead, let's just try and build some power armor pieces onto it. Because hopefully that'll work out alright. And yeah, we can collect that. We hit E to craft. Excavator armor. And... We might actually be able to build all of this. Yeah, let's give this a go. So, we build the helmet. We build the left arm. We build the left leg. Black titanium is my problem here. We build the right arm. We build the right leg. And we build the torso. Now we've got more than enough for all of this. That's not bad. We've just made a level 25 suit of excavator power armor. That is pretty decent. And we, we kind of just walked through it to get inside. And now it's going to bleep at us for a while. But look at this. We've got excavator armor. Yeah. If Why isn't there like a fusion core just lying around here? Like, come on, Bethesda. It was clear nobody had looted this place. You could have given us a fusion core. And da 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 da, I've registered, registered, da, 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 it. And Minor Miracles is completed. That's pretty nice. And what do we get for this? Please tell me I get a fusion core. I get missiles and a plan for power armor stations and a level up by the looks of it. Yeah, but I don't get a fusion core, do I? No. We're going to have to step out of this and just carry the suit with us. Because that is going to be a good, like, suit of power armor. However, it's just a bit too heavy to carry around day to day for no reason. Oh well, I just first traveled outside and the weather has turned miserable. That kind of sucks. Okay, um, I kind of want to head into this location because yeah, the estate, I'm pretty sure we get like a good key card from that which will let us log into everything, although I might already have picked up that key card. Or is that the key card for the third floor? Or is it the key card for this? It might be the key card for this one. Yeah, okay, I've picked up a key card for this. There's like several different key cards throughout this place. There's like just multiple key cards and I can't remember which is which. Just basically pick up any key cards you ever find in this game. It's pretty easy to go by. But yeah, I figure we might as well just explore this place a little bit whilst... Really? You're gonna close the door on me? Yeah, I figure we might as well explore this place a little bit before I head off. And thank you. And let's go up to the third floor. Yeah, what I really need is, like, fusion cores. But that's probably going to entail, um, getting a power plant up and running, which is a bit of a hassle in and of itself. So I'm not sure whether I should do that this episode or the next one. Oh, okay, we just got protectrons and stuff down here. That's... Uh, isn't it normally ghouls and a uh, wendigo? Maybe there's still going to be ghouls and a wendigo around. Let's, let's see how this goes. Oh dear, there's also a uh, boss assault tron with flamey hands. Oh, I like your flamey hands. I don't remember ever seeing flamey hands on an assault tron before in this game. Are you about to... Oh. Yeah, that was the sound of a laser beam head charging up, which is a bit of a pain. I would really like to kill you, though. And I have an Assault Tron Blade, which seems out perfectly fitting for taking you out. It's really not. It's actually designed for killing animals rather than other Assault Trons. Wow, those things. 
the damage isn't too bad, but it seems to be really good at crippling and just being a bit of a pain. Okay, jump. No, jump down. Jump down, you idiot. God damn it. There we go. Okay, we've jumped down. We've jumped down. All is fine. All is good. Let's get some food and some drink. And then run back up, because, yeah, gotta give me a bit of healing for whilst you attack me. And also should be a damage buff. Okay, my troubleshooters thing just ran out, which sucks. There we go. We've got a bunch of scrap and some stuff to scrap down. And... Here a Protectron, and there was a Mr. Gutsy somewhere. So we've still got plenty more to deal with here. But I'm not sure where they are. And yeah, this is the area where there'd normally be a Wendigo. I've never had it be, like, fully robots up here, which is a bit strange. And can I get into... No, I can't get into the boot of that. That's for um, the whole lying low quest line. There's all stuff about that going on. But it's stuff we can't really get on with right now. We can, though, mess up some drinking glasses, which we used for beer pong. Because posh people use glasses for beer pong. Yeah, take that, posh people, beer pong. Ooh, here it is. The Mr. Gutsy. This is, like, the one other robot I was slightly worried about. And it's only a level 22. So, yeah, let's just clear out this place of some basic Protectrons, who I can take down in, like, one or two hits. Because, man, the Cultist Dagger is really quite strong. It's, it's pretty sweet. So I've got plenty of stuff to s steal loot. We'll call it looting. Looting sounds better than stealing. And, ooh, a little bar. This is kind of nice. I'm just chill at the bar, wait for the robots to come to me. Oh, sweet! Someone just purchased a whole bunch of... Yay! Someone's actually gone to my camp and is buying all the ammo I'm selling, like, as cheap as can be. This is, this is good to see. We're about to get a whole bunch of caps. I have a feeling he's only buying two types of ammo. Still, that, that's a good sign. We finally had someone buy some of our ammo. That, that's that's reassuring. It means we can make money as we wander about. That's a long drop. Go back inside, Sarge. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be making some money. It's all gonna be good. Hello, Mr. Sloth. Now, at some point, we're going to need to go into the Cranberry Bog. And the standard way to go over is you kind of either slide through the Savage Divide and have a fight through there. Or you come down from the mire and have a fight through this area. But the fun way, or the easier way to do it, is to go through Big Ben Tunnel. So I think... Pardon me. I, I'm... I apologise. I've become incredibly British now. I do apologise so much, madam. That, that was uncouth and uncalled for. I do apologise. Yeah, the fun way, though, is to go through Big Ben Tunnel West. And you can take it from there to, like... It's around this area where it pops back out. And you skip over the Savage Divide bit and get into a relatively safe area with the Cranberry Bog, and that could come in very handy. So I reckon we go north to Lewisburg, then I'll discover Big Ben Tunnel West, and we'll kill a whole bunch of stuff along the way. Because that's XP! Looks like we've got Super Mutants in Lewisburg, which could be a bit of a pain. So I'm not sure if I actually want to fight them right away. But, ooh, Legendary Exchange Machine, I... Okay, I don't have anything I want to script down right now, but that is going to come in handy in the future, I'm sure. Because the purveyor could be very helpful on this character. Because this is a character who is allowed to, like, barter and trade and stuff. And also who happens to really badly need, like, good 3-star legendary melee weapons towards the end you'll need. So, yeah, I think scripting stuff down occasionally so that I can utilise the purveyor will actually be useful on this character. Alright, I'm not going to worry about fighting through Lewisburg right now. Instead, we are just going to head east and try and make it to the tunnel. And then I'll probably fast travel over towards a um, power station. Because that'll be what I'll be doing next episode, is just like claiming the power station like right at the start. Or powering up, I suppose. Claiming it and just trying to make a whole bunch of fusion cores. So we've got those for the future. Because they will come in pretty handy. Take a throwing knife, then one, two, three, four stabs. Okay, and we'll pick up your assault rifle, because assault rifles strap down for a lot of steel. Like, those are real steel heavy. And... Okay, I was just thinking, do I want to go all the way through the tunnel? But it's probably better for me just to discover this place. Yeah, kill the Scorched around, obviously, because they're just some basic Scorched. And then go through at a later date. 
because there'll be much tougher enemies on the other side, and I don't want to be facing them just yet, because these guys, these guys are enough for now. Just some nice basic Scorch for me to kill, that's all good. Finding power plants just naturally on the map is quite easy, because there's always like a little symbol showing you, like, oh, here's a power plant, here's a power plant, is there, is there one up north? I don't see one up north. There might not be. Yeah, but it's just like often, oh, here's a power plant. It's pretty easy to just spot them, which is kind of nice. Which means we need to be going over here, so I reckon AVR Medical, then we'll just wander up and call it an episode. Alright, we're, we're in the forest now. This is going to be really easy fights. It's also much better weather. Oh, what time is it? It's 5.23am. Okay, so morning is breaking. <laughs> and these are level 1 Scorched. Oh man, you guys. You guys shouldn't even be looking at me. You're so weak. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, you're level 6, are you? Oh, level 6. Wow. You you almost did damage to me. Oh, poor weak, weak enemies. There you go. There's a power plant over there. I can at least head over. Um, there's also the little... Yeah, Charleston Landfill, which obviously I won't be taking this time, but next time, might take it as well. Give me... Oh, I hear a beep. I heard just a single beep, and there's no explosion. Maybe there wasn't actually a mine, maybe the game just got confused. Yeah, but next time I might take Charleston Landfill over once I'm waiting for Fusion Cores to power up. We will have to see. I'll, I'll have a lot of time. So I'll basically just be waiting once that's done. I've just been laying around going do 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 all of that good stuff. Yeah, we run over this little bridge here. There was another beep! Just one beep. One beep, no explosion. What's going on, her game? What are you doing? What are you doing scaring me with your individual beeps? Yeah, we just want to run over to the power plant and kill the stuff here. And take it for ourselves, because, yeah, you're going to be nice low-level Scorched, which means easy fights. Also, I lose the gas canisters. Always a good sign. I mean, if nothing else, just, yeah. Just, um, whatchamacallit, steel and acid you get from them. So, decent to scrap down. But, yeah, if you're looking for do -do 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 -do, the fancy frenzy stealth boys which nobody ever really uses, it seems, then it's useful to know where you can actually get gas canisters like that. Although I'm pretty sure you do need the fixed ones, so it might actually be utterly useless here. Who knows? You know, I feel kind of bad for these Scorched. I am just eradicating them from existence. It's all that's happening here. They're not even getting a chance. And oh, oh, I forget I don't have that. Okay, someone's, someone's left open their lead extractor. They also have... Is this fully powered up? Oh man, they've actually got like... Okay, I can't turn it off. I was wondering if I could turn it off there. Yeah, they've got like a fully powered up one and... Oh buddy. You, you've you just left three fusion cores in here. That I can just take. Well, Dezelta, thank you for the fusion cores. That's... <laughs> I feel a little bit bad about that. But also not too bad, because they didn't bother locking it or anything. Okay, there's even a little workbench around there I can use. People, w w when you take a workshop, if you don't want people stealing stuff, just put even like a level zero lock on. That'll stop some people. If you leave it completely open though, people will take stuff, because of course we will. Because it's just free for us to take. And that means next time I have to decide if I'm actually going to take over this workshop and get even more fusion cores, or if I'm just going to kind of leave it at that, because there's another one on the table, isn't there? Another fusion core on the table. Man, another one could spawn in at like any second. This is... Is that a final one, like, max thingy as well, or... Okay, no, one of them's 75. You know what, I'm going to put a partial charge one in here. <laughs> just for anyone else who pops by. Can I... Oh, I can't put anything else in here. Okay, we'll keep hold of our 75 one, I guess. But yeah, I guess that's that's fusion cores 
for the power armor. You only need like five of them, I reckon, if you're not using it that often. So, might not even need to take it over next time. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Oh, it's, I still feel kind of bad about that. Oh well. Yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Basically just getting ourselves a nice suit of power armor and a bunch of fusion cores now, which was going to be next episode, so we'll have to work out what to do next time. Feel free to leave suggestions in the comments. I don't know when I'll record it, but if it's after Monday, then I might read your suggestions and do them. Anyway, that is going to be all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.